prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. the cutting coming? Slow. Gotta be careful. The rust means weak spots. You should have kept the metal. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better or worse. I drink. We had to use those sheets to patch the roof last year, when we had the flood. Make do with what you can. felt such terror. Tonight the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi, but I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. <sighs> we need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia, whom I thought I'd long forgotten. And it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. And those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. If you want to help, you should head down to the lower village. I know you want to help, but I have to finish here. Armies need food as much as weapons. I'll leave you to it then. Greetings. 
You're Jacob's guest. If you're looking for a way to help, they're repairing the guard towers just down the path. I mean no offense, but you don't look like you're ready for a turn on the anvil. Jacob said you rescued him from the prison. It was a joint effort. Well, whatever you did, we're grateful. We won't turn away another pair of hands if you can help, but we're not accustomed to visitors. Greetings. Did you bring anything to trade? Anything we could use? There's something buzzing over the valley. You must have seen them. There's a white wolf out there. I've never seen her myself, but I've heard she's only out at night. someone to go look. Send who, exactly? Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm How telling you, you have to improvise place? for now. What brought you here? War is coming. We have to prepare. The Soviets left everything when we drove them out. Most of it is just waste. But there's still the odd treasure to be found. There's never enough time. Never. We've got to get these towers reinforced. scoffed at learning your letters, said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected, and I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hares you can find anywhere, night or day, both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hairs in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees, and rain will drive them into their burrows. And, if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins, or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find Buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment.
followers of the Prophet fled to the east. The journey was... difficult. Rivka joined the Prophet because her husband, a Rus nobleman, was a believer. When he died on the journey north, she stayed with the Prophet, pondering what her place was amongst the believers. When she saw the valley, she knew she had found her purpose. She dreamed what Katesh could be. She laid those dreams out to be built. 
It is because of Rivka that Katesh became not just beautiful, but livable. Rivka, the architect. <laughs> 